So, um, we've got some uh, questions to answer. Q&A day. Very excited. Um, I think we've got a bunch. So, um, this is my first time seeing it. So, ding! It was a loud ding. Sorry. Oh, Film Factory. Hey! What's going on, Film Factory? Um, hey, John. As a concrete newbie, I'm ready to start testing. I'm in San Diego. Any advice on how I can find Clotosilica or the Optima 256 in testing sizes? I'm not having great luck. I want to put what I'm learning from you to the test. Thanks. Yeah, it's kind of hard to get this stuff in um, test sample size. You really have to befriend uh, one of the sales folk. Uh, once you do that, uh, it's easy to get samples. We're friends with the, fo or the gentleman out here who works in their satellite uh, blending facility. And anytime we need samples, he brings us one gallon, two quart sample sizes with stickers on it, MSDSs, and even calls us when there's new technologies to say, hey, I've got new technology that I'm sending over for y'all to try out. So you need to call up, find out who your local sales rep is, you know, take them out to lunch, you know, tell them who you are, what you're working on, what you're trying to do. Uh, with Colloidal Silica, just shoot me a direct message, uh, john at intelligent-concrete.com or on LinkedIn, that's probably the best way to get a hold of me. Uh, and I can get you some Colloidal Silica, at least a one gallon sample uh, after a little bit of talking. So I think that's the easiest way of doing it. And when it comes to doing tests with any type of new and emerging technology, or if you're just looking at using admixtures from the admixture sales folk, that's the best way of doing it. That you have to, you know, start those relationships long term. You know, you shouldn't ask for those samples right away. Take them out to lunch first, become friends with them, or at least acquaintances, and then start talking to them and have a good reason. If you're just getting samples for the sake of getting samples, like you don't intend to use it on a job site or convince a ready mix provider to start using it or whatever the case may be, you might not get as much uh, uh, of a good reception as you, know, you would if you're going to use that in a new project. Now with us, we've been working with these folks for so long that it's really easy uh, to get that stuff. Uh, another way of doing it is befriending the folks at the ready mix plants that can give you some stuff out of their bottles. Um, yeah, those are the two ways of getting, you know, something like Optima 258, 256, Environmix 159, you know, the, all their slew of great materials that they have, as well as with BASF, Sika, Euclid, uh, GCP, those other uh, facilities that are out there, or companies out there selling those admixtures. So, hope you learned something. Let me know if you got any other questions, concrete questions, concrete concerns. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Ding that bell for notifications. Go concrete! Beautiful!